Hi everyone, this is Heather Lottenen from the Flourish Academy. This is episode 265. Hey Brie. Hey. Hey, I'm at YM Camera today and Brie and I were just chatting and I thought, you have a lot of really good things to share about consistency in editing. So we were talking about some things that we struggle with uh, when we're starting and you said something that was good for you to figure out was consistency in editing. So you, can you explain a little bit more about that? Well, I guess the first thing, um, because I just I didn't I started out not too long ago, so I was just in this boat of trying to figure out, um, you know, how do you really start out? What are the things you need to know? And um, I think the biggest thing was no like having a consistency within your pictures, having the same look for all of your pictures. So your clients know what they're getting when they book you. What to expect. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So that goes, you know, regardless of what kind of photography you're doing, that's kind of the first thing of, you know, what are you gonna do? And then after that, it's kind of like, what look do you wanna put off? So what mood do you wanna set when you're um, creating your pictures? And so the first thing would just be kind of creating your style with that and figuring out what you want. So um, for me, or one of the best tips that I've heard from, you know, other mentors and stuff that I've had is that not so much that you group together a bunch of pictures from other photographers because you don't want to copy what somebody else has because anybody can just kind of copy. That doesn't set you apart, it doesn't give you a step ahead, it just kind of sets you back actually mm -hmm. because if somebody else is already doing it, then why wouldn't they just hire the more experienced person? Right. So that's not a good strategy. Um, but you know, there's stuff like Pinterest or you know, even if you don't have Pinterest, just like Google in general, just finding a collection of s styles um, but not like photography style so things like we were talking about clothes or um, just different looks and aesthetics and stuff like that so if you're looking at a bunch of houses what look do you like in the house and um, if you're looking at different you know stationary anything that you want just um, finding a big group of those and grouping them together and then looking at it and saying okay what's the mood that I see consistently through all of these things and it'll group in with your personality and then you'll have your style kind of together and then from there you can either find presets that work for you or um, you know just even if you're not using a preset building that on your own and doing the same editing through all of your pictures and um, so you, when you're editing you've got to remember that all those pictures need to look the same especially if you're doing things like Instagram and stuff that really plays a part in the way that um, your social media presence and just your presence in general it needs to be consistent all it the way needs around. to be consistent you are so brilliant. You are so <laughs> smart. But to, what you what you were saying was, good morning, Marilyn. What you were saying was, look for an aesthetic that you like. And if you're not sure what it is, just start grabbing photos of different things that you like and then take a step back and say, okay, what's in common here? So if you were to describe your style, I mean, you know, there's things like light and area, super in, it's very trendy right now, but you were saying you like a little bit more contrast. So how did you land on your style? So I think, you know, again, I was on Pinterest. I was doing all those things and um, I love Pinterest, you know, as most girls do. And I just looked at it and I said, okay, I'm not one of those people that likes the really moody pictures. I don't like high saturation. I think it's overwhelming personally yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't like things to be super dark. I don't like things to have a lot of shadows. I'm just really not into that. So I knew that I wanted it to definitely be on the brighter end of things and I didn't want it to be too colorful. Like I wanted to take a little step back and be like, okay, that's a little much. Um, and so I think deciding that was like the first step of, you know, just me as a person, what do I like in What do you like? Oh, that's yeah. critical. So you weren't thinking, what is everyone else going to like? Or what do my clients like? You were thinking, hey, this is pretty. I like this. And this is how I'm going to present myself. Yeah. So you stayed true to you. Yeah. And that's big because right now there's a couple different styles going out. There's that really grainy look that's happening. And it's like really um, earthy kind of tones mm -hmm. that's going on and it, with a lot of grain. And that if I wanted to, if I was catering to, you know, what, everybody else seems to be liking right now that's what I would be doing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and um, that just isn't not you me mm -hmm. at all and no. so I knew like you know years down the line what am I gonna look at and be proud of over a long period of time so that's what I wanted to do and then but I looked at the light and airy thing and I was like well, that's that's more in my area but I was like it's almost too light and airy for me it's almost too bright mm -hmm. and it's almost too, it's too much of a style it's not so much just a picture like I want my pictures to be pictures and capturing more of a moment than I do I, I don't really want it to be an artistic thing as right. much 
So I needed to figure out, um, you know, how I was gonna make that a little bit different than that light and everything. So for me, it meant, you know, bringing that contrast up, making it a little bit darker in certain spots right. than the light and area. But would still, be. would you consider your editing style to be pretty clean? Yeah. It's like for sure. normal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I call yeah. it. Like, you just look good. Yeah. But they don't... it has your, your flair, your personality, but not overwhelmingly so. Yes. Yeah. I wouldn't, I would say that. Well, actually, when I first started, I refused to edit any of my pictures because I was like, I just wanted to look exactly how it was in the moment, and that's oh, great. Oh, okay, you were being a purist. Yes. Were, yeah. Okay. But you know that only gets you so far in photography. Not so, so much. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I quickly learned that that wasn't gonna work. But that theme of you know it being a moment and it being real, and I don't want to do a bunch of things to the picture that makes it look drastically different like right. I want my client to look at the picture and be like okay yeah that was me that's how it looked in the moment and that's how I felt about it like that's just how I personally wanted to present that I think that is fantastic a lot of people struggle with their editing style so I mean the best thing you can do is experiment right mm -hmm. so maybe start with a Pinterest board like you said where you're gathering ideas and then you figure out what you like and you have to identify it so you identified it using words yeah. You said, I like this, I don't like that, and then you made that happen. Also, you had said, if you're going to use presets, make sure you're using the, the same, same ones. ones. Be yeah. consistent. Yeah, you don't want to have, presets are great, but you don't want to be using, you don't want to get three sets of like presets for a bunch of different people and using different ones on each it picture. will be completely it's inconsistent. Not, yeah. It's not, I mean, it's not going to look good. I mean, obviously you're going to click a preset and then you, you know, from there, then you edit a little bit mm -hmm. and for the specific picture. But, you know, in the batch, you want it to all look similar. You don't want it to look drastically different. That's right. And people, people do that because they're experimenting, which is fine. You should definitely experiment with presets, but do don't it, post them. Don't, right, exactly. <laughs> don't you go. post don't them. Post them. <laughs> so just experiment with them and find the ones that you like mm -hmm. and then stick with that and your style will evolve over time. How long would you say it took you to sort of land on that style? Um, pro I mean, I probably just developed it like a half a year ago. Oh yeah. Recently. Like two, like, Definitely, yeah. I want it here. Yeah, kind of thing. You yeah. feel good about it. Mm -hmm. Your photos look consistent. Oh, thank you. <laughs> can you tell everyone where they can find you, where they can see your photos? Uh, yeah. So on Instagram, it's just Bree Thompson Photography. Um, and it's the same for that on Facebook, and then on Twitter, it's B Thompson Photo because they wouldn't let me put as many letters in there. You lost space. Yep. <laughs> maybe after we're done with the video, maybe you could comment on this thread and post a few of your images so people can see and start to understand your style and what. Oh, you just light me up. You <laughs> stop. You are fan. Nice. Bree is fantastic, and you're so young, and you're so ambitious, and you're very connected. I think most importantly, with who you are. Oh, thanks. You Enjoy. know what you want and how you want that style to look, and then it shows in your images. You're very sure of yourself. And when you're learning and you're trying a bunch of different things, if you post all those things, it just looks like you don't know what you want to do. Mm -hmm. But you're very focused. I'm Thank proud you. of you. Good job. Hey everyone, thanks. We'll see you in the next video.